Hey, so anyway, what's cool about this job here, I've got, uh, I got the guys over on this side of the street putting in the 300 feet of fence. Then, over here, get that truck in there. There they are. They're over there doing a little fence repair. So, yeah. They're pretty convenient. Somebody ran into the fence over there, and we get to put 300 feet of fence over here. <laughs> That's all about positioning yourself on the internet. Okay, so I was talking to you guys about internet positioning. So I'm gonna do a live demonstration here to show you how <clears throat> how my website ranks is with Google here. Um, we'll put in fence repair. Um, and it's Portland, Oregon's already there, so I'm just going to click Portland, Oregon and see where uh, these are all the paid ads that come up like that. Boom, bam. And then here's Fix a Fence right there on the map, the top one, Fix a Fence. Um, and this isn't paid ad, this has all been organic, probably just like everybody else below me. Um, and then we'll see where Fix a Fence shows up. Bam, right there on the front page, Fix a Fence. Not too far down. So, so it's not like you got to scroll down far, but fix the fence is right there. <clears throat> and like I said, it's all easy stuff. It's all relevant content. So that way when the user types in um, the into the search bar, up here at the search bar, th then all the spiders don't have to work so hard if it's simple, relative content. And especially, especially if you're... Uh, uh, you're your business is in the domain like the gurus tell you if the business is in the domain the spiders really don't have to work <clears throat> so there you have it um just a little bit of more uh how-to tips on internet positioning okay hey so last time i was talk talking about uh, internet positioning and how i got two of these jobs here uh on lambert street off the internet and I'll tell you what if uh, I wasn't positioned on the internet like I am I probably wouldn't even have got these jobs but uh, because I'm on the first page that's called internet positioning and I'll tell you something what you really need to do or well I'm not gonna tell you what you need to do but what you should do this is what's been told to me because the gurus they've already got the wheel invented so it's just a matter of uh, taking what they got and add it add it to your own uh, little thing so that they've said to keep your keep your name your your business name or whatever you're doing in your domain so mine's fix LLC.com <laughs> that's all right in there baby uh, so uh, that's the first most important part the second part is to keep it simple keep all your things simple relative content really short and simple because then the spiders they don't have to work so hard They'll just, uh, they, they won't have to work so hard. They'll find all your relative, your relative content, your relative content, and uh, they'll bring you up to the first page because the spiders don't have to work that hard. So anyway, just letting you know uh, what the gurus, I've, le I've learned from the gurus, you know, it's a matter of uh, positioning yourself on the internet. So you want to keep your uh, business name in your domain, like fixoffensellc.com, boom, all over it relative short sweet and to the point relative content keywords the stuff that you do if you're selling donuts don't put bike parts in there uh, you know fix a fence I mend broken fences I install new ones chain link wood look it up anyway uh, it tells it all so like I said I just let you know I got both of these jobs here this one's all done now that little repair down there, that's all done. Some car ran into it and took out about 20 feet of chain link fence. And then this one down here, the 300 foot job, all done. And why? Because it's all off the internet, internet positioning. Anyway, Fix a Fence LLC, Mending Broken Fences. Have a good day.